Impulse says, what's up, Dame? Got a question for you. Do you suggest releasing a project and letting the collective view, stream, count, pick the singles? Or would it be better to pick the singles beforehand and then work them prior to the project's releases? So, I mean, I'm sure Payne will have a, 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 a opinion about this too, but like, I don't think you ever should just release a project and I think you should release singles and you know work the singles and have that roll up into to a project and then if the when the project comes out if there's a song that's starting to do well just organically that you didn't realize then maybe highlight that song continue to push and promote that song uh but i would never just drop a project and then figure out the singles you probably want to have a build up to a project and only release a project when there's demand for that project and you can create a narrative and a story around that project that you think is compelling um, and have some good promotion ideas uh, around the project. Um, Pan, you want to weigh in on that one? Yeah, my thing is if you're starting from zero and you don't have a bunch of input from fans yet, you really just have to make decisions on your own. Obviously, once you get to a certain point where you have you know thousands of fans, you see a lot of artists do things like preview music. You know, they say, hey, I'm working on these three new songs. Here's an exclusive live stream where I'm going to preview some of this music and talk to my fans about it and see, you know, which ones are, which track is your favorite. And, you know, we talked about this on a podcast recently where a lot of artists will use that strategy for figuring out which merch designs to release, you know, which T-shirt design do my fans like the most. But if you're at the point where you feel like you, you still need to just build up fans, then you just have to really put out a lot of content and, and try to make it as best as you can. And I, and I mean content, um, and that includes, you know, making your music as good as it can be. Don't, don't, I, I see so many musicians submit music. You know, when I do music reviews, for example, um, they'll submit music that clearly wasn't their best effort. You know, it'll be a terrible recording. It'll be them freestyling. And they're like, yo, here, here's my submission. What do you think? And it's like, you freestyled your way through an industry beat. This is not you putting your best foot forward. So if I can see that, so can the fans. So content starts with the best possible art. And I'm, I'm not saying it has to be amazing. And if, and if you're not at the, at the J. Cole level or the Jay-Z level, you're trash. I'm saying do your best, really consciously do your best and apply that to everything. 